Hello, NASDAQ followers, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell. I'm your host, Leanne Alfaro, and we're coming to you live from Times Square, New York City, as we get set to ring the closing bell here with Neuronetics. Sitting with me right now is the president and CEO, Chris Thatcher. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me here to welcome in uh, National Depression Awareness Month. Yes, and so very important issue right off the bat. Could you talk to us about the many people in this country that live with depression every day? Yeah, sure. Um, so if you know 100 people, six of them are going to be depressed this year. That means about 17 million American adults will have depression. And that means 300 million Americans, uh, 300, 300 million people across the world will be struggling with depression this year. And now Neuronetics, is, this is at the core of what your company does. Um, tell us a little bit about how you help uh, treat uh, these patients. Right, so this is an alternative treatment uh, course to uh, pharmaceuticals. It's a non-invasive, office-based uh, treatment. You come into an office, you're usually door-to-door -door in 30 to 45 minutes, uh, five days a week for six to seven uh, weeks. It's non-invasive, you're non-sedative, you drive yourself home. Um, and it's for if you've failed one full course of treatment um, and you're still depressed, one or more course of treatment, you're still depressed, uh, this is a, an alternative for you. So this treatment, it's called Neurostar, and it's become available not only nationally, but it's expanding even further. Could you tell us a little bit more about its inception and where you are right now with the product? Sure. Um, so right now we're, we're approaching a thousand systems installed in the U.S. Uh, we've done over 2.5 million treatment sessions. Um, our vision is uh, NeuroHealth for people everywhere. So that's more than just major depressive disorder in the U.S. Depression doesn't stop at our boundaries. We were recently approved in Japan and we now have reimbursement in Japan. It's the third largest um, medical device market in the world. And we're, we're not gonna stop there. And we're not gonna stop with just depression. Um, early next year, we intend to kick off two large clinical trials, one in uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome and the other one in, in bipolar disorder. And now, Chris, th there are other options, right? There are other medications out on the market why Neuronetics instead of those other options? Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, there's about 17 million people affected this year. Only half show up for to see a psychiatrist. Of that, um, only 28% get better on the first antidepressant prescribed. And every time you try a new antidepressant, your likelihood of remission actually declines and the side effect profile increases. And that's why this product was created almost 10 years ago um, and has run through many rigorous clinical trials. We've now done 11 trials and had 25 peer reviewed journal articles on it, most written in the category. Um, and it's been proven that your likelihood of remission is about one in three, no matter how many drugs you tried and there's about a 50 to 60% chance you have a significant improvement in your depression scores after full treatment. Well, those are incredible stats. And so for people who are dealing with this, this is something that touches so many people, not only the people affected, but their families. Um, for, for people who might have a friend or a family member who's affected by depression, what do you suggest in terms of getting them to, to the treatment, to a treatment like Neuronetics. Neuronetics. Yeah, this is, this is a really important about today in creating this dialogue. As I mentioned, there's 17 million people. Half of them don't go to get therapy because one of the symptoms of being depressed is a sense of hopelessness. And, and when you're feeling hopeless every day, just think about your, your, the day that you're most down, but that occurs every, every day and it's five times worse. Um, and someone kind of nudges you that something's not right. Um, you don't respond the same way um, when you're depressed. You really got to tug on a loved one to get the same sort of response if they're depressed to go seek help. So I'm encouraging everyone to really have a conversation with a colleague, a friend, or family member. Um, and you really need to be bold and assertive to get that person to get past the depression and go seek help. Mm -hmm. And you can change their lives. The, number one, the, the second leading cause of death in the U.S. is suicide. And most of those people are depressed. And so it certainly seems to be greatly affected when a family member or a loved one can really step in and, and make that change. In some so for, for us every, and all our employees at our company, we have over 250 employees now at the company, um, we're motivated by what we call the mental health multiplier. We can all be working on another medical device company creating a lot of interesting products, but if you get someone better 
who is struggling with depression, you not just get that person better, you get the whole family better. You get five friends better, five colleagues better. So we've now helped 70,000 patients, but if you multiply that by five friends, five family members, five colleagues, we've really helped a million people get better in the U.S. to date. That's incredible. And, and now moving forward, what are some of the kind of projects and goals that you have set out for Neuronetics and helping that number grow even further? Yeah, so, so in the U.S., uh, we, were here, we were here a little over a year ago and we raised uh, $90 million here uh, at the NASDAQ. Um, and we're putting that, uh, those dollars to really good use to help renew people's lives around the world that are struggling with depression. So the first thing is we're expanding our U.S. sales organization. Uh, we've almost doubled the, the people in our commercial organization in the last two years. Uh, we're at the really the fuzzy front end uh, with only 1,000 systems installed that leaves uh, almost 29,000 other locations that could benefit, just to give you a sense of where we are in, in scale in the company. Um, and then the next thing is, is there's other disorders, PTSD and bipolar, and we're gonna uh, start a clinical trial on both those projects next year. And then there's other markets. Uh, we were recently approved in Japan and we got reimbursement in Japan in June. Um, they have the highest suicide rate in, uh, in the developed market. And then we're selectively looking at other international markets to go in. Um, depression doesn't stop at our borders. It's a, it's a, it's a global issue. And it, and it is quite a huge issue to tackle at that. So definitely you're not only focused on depression, but mental health overall. So thank you so much for coming and sharing a little bit more about the work that you're doing over at Neuronetics. And we certainly look forward to keeping up with your new innovations as they come along. Thanks. It's good to see you again. And likewise. NASDAQ followers, that was Chris Thatcher, President and CEO of Neuronetics. They are set to ring the closing bell today here at the NASDAQ market site in, honor, in recognition of uh, Depression Awareness Month here at NASDAQ. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more updates coming to you right here from Times Square.